Today in our 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 1500, we'll be having a look at and installing the Takancha Prodigy P3 Trailer Brake Controller, part number 90195. And to ease our installation, we will be using the Takancha Plug-in Wiring Adapter for Electric Brake Controllers, part number 3016. Here's what our brake controller looks like installed. We have ours hooked up to a trailer right now, and when you're hooked up, you see you get an icon of a truck towing a trailer, and it shows your current power output going towards your brakes. Since this is a proportional brake controller, and we're in park right now, when I step on my brake pedal, we don't get any power being applied because we're not actually moving. There is no false application of the brakes. You have to be moving in a forward direction with your brakes applied. This brake controller will allow you to tow a trailer up to four axles, controlling four sets of electric trailer brakes, this brake controller will also allow you to control electric over hydraulic brakes without any modifications required to the trailer or your brake controller. It automatically will detect those once you enter the proper setting. So what sets this brake controller apart from others on the market is the amount of customization that we can do with the brake controller between changing the color on the display, running electric over hydraulic brakes on your trailer, and the fact that we have three boost level settings. We can set this brake controller up to be suited perfectly for our needs, no matter what type of trailer that we're pulling. We'll go ahead and show you a few of the features that this offers. On down here in the bottom, we have our manual override. As you see, when you slide it all the way over, it increases the power gradually. You back off, steps on down. This is great for when we want to apply the trailer brakes without applying the brakes in our vehicle. So if our trailer starts to get sideways on us and then we want to bring it back in line, slide the manual override on over and it'll bring the trailer back straight behind you. Over here to the left, we have our power output settings, 14 being the max. If we bring it down here to say eight, it'll only go up to eight. Generally speaking, you wanna have this somewhere in the middle. So set it around seven and you can adjust as needed up or down depending on the weight of your trailer or your tow vehicle. This top button here to the right, that is our boost level setting. What that does is gradually apply more power to the trailer brakes and it applies them quicker so you don't have that initial turn on. It's more instantaneous. So this is great for when you pick up a load in your trailer and it's heavier than what you're expecting. You can just press the button to up the boost level settings so you get the more braking more efficiently with just one press of a button. You'll notice too, the higher the boost level setting that you're on, the size of the trailer on the indicator here increases. All right, go through the setup menu here. You can change the features on the display, such as brightness, color, the contrast. So you can change it to match basically whatever color your interior is to match your vehicle or whatever you like the most. Brake type. Then you got your electric over hydraulic. You got a help screen here for troubleshooting information that shows your current battery voltage, shows how much power you're getting out of your stoplight circuit to make sure it's actually working properly. It shows your output voltage, your output current. So it's nice being able to see what your brakes are actually doing in your vehicle. Now what I really like about this brake controller compared to others on the market is not only is it very customizable, but it has a nice, large, easy to read display right here, which makes it super easy to use. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. All right, to begin our install, we'll be working in the lower left corner of our dash, right in this area right here. Okay, this is our fuse box that's located underneath our dash. We need to remove the cover for this to gain access to our plug. So we'll just grab the locks on the side of it, pop it open, and get it out of the way. Right, this unoccupied port right here, that is where we're going to plug our brake controller harness into. Let's push it in until it clicks. Okay, with that plugged in, we can now replace the cover for our fuse box. Okay, now we're going to attach our bracket to the upper right section of our dash, right by our steering column here. We use provided screws and mounting bracket. Now we'll take the holster for our brake controller and our brake controller. 
snap the brake controller into the holster. Now to make it easier to connect our brake controller to our harness, we'll plug it in before we mount it. And we'll finish snugging down our screws. Okay, that gives us a nice solid mount for our brake controller and it's easily accessible while we're driving. Okay, we went ahead and secured up any loose wires up underneath the dash of a couple zip ties. Just make sure we avoid the steering column or the pedals, keep them away from any of the moving parts and away from our feet so we don't hit them while we're driving. And that completes our look at and installation of the Takancha Prodigy P3 trailer brake controller, part number 90195 on our 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 1500.